Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I have a lovely vegetarian dish for you today, very famous in north of India. It is called Kamal Kakri Ki Sabzi. Kamal Kakri are lotus stems that is used in preparing different kind of curries and stir-fried dishes. This particular sabzi is very common, it's very quick and it makes a perfect weeknight vegetarian meal. I use soya granule in this dish which adds a lovely texture that balances very well with the lotus stems. So start by soaking these dry granules in water for a while and it will puff up and get very soft in texture. I have used the frozen lotus stems that you find in Indian stores as these are quite tender compared to the other variety that we find here. These are quite soft and cooks very fast. You don't even have to boil them prior. The curry cooks really quickly and needs very minimal prep work. The usual finely chopped onion, tomatoes and freshly chopped or pounded garlic ginger paste along with some fresh green chili. You start by sizzling the whole spices along with garlic ginger paste for the boost of flavor. Then goes the onion which you want to saute for a while with the spice powder. I do use a dried fenugreek leaf as well which is optional but it adds a lovely flavor to the entire dish. Then goes the tomatoes and you want to once again cook it for a while. Now you can definitely reduce this entire cooking step by using my homemade curry paste which stores very well in the freezer for months. You can check the link in the description below. Now once you add the Kamal Kakri, cover the pan and let it simmer for a while. These are frozen varieties and these cook very very fast. You don't have to really boil it for a very long time. Now finally add the soya granule. These are hydrated now. And I also added a little bit of water from the bowl. Now this sabzi, we like it dry, but if you want it more gravy, if you prefer it with more gravy, then definitely add more water and accordingly adjust the consistency of the dish. Finally goes garam masala and amchur which is dry mango powder. If you don't have dry mango powder then you can add lemon juice or lemon zest just for the refreshing tang flavor at the end. As you can see, this is a super quick side dish, uh, pairs very well with paratha, you can add some dal on the side if you like. I hope you enjoyed the video, do give a thumbs up and do subscribe. Thank you.